All eyes were on Las Vegas this week for the 2013 International CES, produced by the Consumer Electronics Association. We're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center, but there are also exhibits at LVH and the Venetian, and there are lots of events at other venues as well. This particular report is a minority report. What one Las Vegas local, not in the electronics business, saw when she spent about two and a half hours at the show. If I didn't understand it, I didn't stop. If it was too crowded, I didn't stop. If it looked like it was exciting and interesting and new, I did stop and then I asked questions and tried to find out what was going on. This is a very complex show and very interesting for folks of all levels of knowledge, including me. Here we are amid the 150,000 or more. This is like Times Square in New York. We're in the second floor of the South Hall. Qualcomm is the first booth that we see, and I understand that they are touting uh, their chip called Snapdragon 800. I said, what's so good about it? Well, it's got better sound, better picture. You can use it with more devices. And that's all I know. Snapdragon is a chip. I was encouraged to go to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 theater. And here it is. And here's the line. <laughs> I'm a local Las Vegan. We don't wait in lines. We figure out how to get where we want to get <laughs> when there are no lines. But anyway, here's a big line to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 Theater. I was intrigued by this sign, built to tilt, and I see we're talking about a bag that tilts open, probably to create some kind of home office computing, the pretty girl has attracted a lot of attention. Here we go. is the backpack for the modern age. Want to carry your iPhone on your arm? This is a Forza iPhone 5 armband in gray. This is for the 5, the new one. It's the bigger size. I'm not sure what this is exactly, but we've got a photographer and we've got a gal with her armband and armband. She might be from one of the local Cirque shows, I'm not sure. <laughs> She's got lots of wires. He's speaking not in English, it's for a TV show for some other country. I don't know if you're familiar with this name, although, and I wasn't, but we got a lot of press releases from this company and now I'm here and they have a huge exhibit. And I was asking, how do you pronounce it? And I was told an easy way. If you say the words, who are we, and say them very fast, boy, who are we very fast, you get through the right name. I don't know that I'm even capable yet. But these folks make a lot of cell phones, and they make them in all sizes. They are in Shenzhen, China, with U.S. headquarters in Texas. 
next to Who Are We is a name that I am familiar with, 3M, and it looks as if they are talking about innovations that keep your device looking new longer. Protection solutions for real world use. Lots of people are here. Wow, 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 wow. I stopped here because I saw the picture of Barry Sanders and wondered what was going on. This is the Mizco booth and they do accessories. And they will put your favorite NFL team's logo on those accessories. Looks like raincoats and chargers, etc. This little lady explained that she and her two good looking cohorts are cheerleaders for the Raiders and they do a lot of work uh, in their own community. But they are coming to the trade show and they're very popular. This is the lineup of people who want to meet Mr. Sanders who's due here in about a half an hour and I'm told the line goes around the corner and way on the other side so the folks that come here are not here only for business they're also here for souvenirs we're in the Digi Power booth that has a lot of accessories for iPhones, etc. These things that look like credit cards are actually charge cards for smartphones. Uh, you keep them in your wallet and if you need a charge, it will provide an extra hour of charge for your phone. This is my bat and they have lots of cell phone covers with very intriguing designs. We're at a booth in which solar energy is used to charge devices. In this case, this Ruckus XL is said to be super loud, solar powered, portable, a wireless sound system. Go ahead, go ahead. It's where you charge. You USB to charge smartphones and a handy spot to keep your smartphone safe. Wirelessly connect to any Bluetooth enabled device. Eight speakers, extra long mono crystal solar panel. Well, it's something I don't have, but there's lots of interest in it. What we know as Bluetooth becomes super tooth in this exhibit. We're at the NVIDIA booth, and their equipment is used in the Tesla electric car, which is here on display. Here is the trunk, and there is a trunk in the front because there's no engine that holds almost as much. There are lots of people here looking at the car. The Tesla, I think, starts at about $60,000. I was told that the battery, depending on which battery you get, can go from 150 to 300 miles. And there is a touch screen inside. <laughs> that is huge. And there are young women here, not young men. Well, maybe there are some, but I noticed the women uh, giving all the information about the car. This is the front engine compartment, or what would be the engine compartment. So you can store your life in here. If you're going to live in a car, it only costs $60,000 and an outlet to do it. Would you believe the United States Postal Service has a very popular booth? It has to do with shooting baskets, which every guy grows up doing, I gather. Got lots of basketballs, and I don't know whether they get something special if they if they make their free throws. But let's see if we can watch here. One. Whoops. Oh, it must be timing how many you get in a certain amount of time. Well, I don't know what the prize is, but there's a big long line of guys wanting to do it. I was intrigued with this little camera. It is from Elmo, and it is a camera that you can use if you're skiing down a mountain or um, doing some other kind of exciting work. Here's a film 
This is a 1080p camera, as small as it is, and if you're in the right Wi-Fi area, you actually can stream your movie to a, an iPhone, a nearby iPhone. The cost of the little camera is around somewhere between 350, 400, etc. But look how tiny it is. Amazing. We're at the Duro booth, D-U-R-O, and here are some very colorful stands for your phone. And if you would like to have sound amplified while your phone is standing silent, uh, this is it. It is called Sound Squared. This is an Aston Martin. I'm told a car that probably costs in excess of $150,000. It is here at the show, we think, to show off the fact that you can apply the Aston Martin logo to something as mundane as a cell phone holder. On the back wall, these are leather cell phone holders with the Aston Martin logo. The press is here in droves and on the show floor you will even see the presentation of TV programs and live streaming. This one is apparently going to talk about Toyota products. The folks at Bosch are talking about safety and here are some ways that you're car will give give space between you and the car in front of you without you doing anything about it. The car will sense what needs to be done. I'm not sure what this is. It seems to be a glass that you can see through and yet there is a display going on. Anyway. <laughs> and lots of people are stopping and looking, like me. We're at a booth called Withings, and the smart body analyzer attracted my attention. And apparently, you step on the scale, and it gives you the weight, BMI, and percent of body fat, your heart rate measurement, and it syncs wirelessly in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so others can find out how you're doing with regard to body fat. I don't know. Do I want to know all this? We'll see. The crowd here is interested in the uh, GPS system for the dog. The dog runs away and you can find it. This is Equipment Company, Ruyan Tian Lun Health Equipment Company. This gentleman was fast asleep just a minute ago, and this one really is. I think they're supposed to try out the equipment, not sleep for an hour, but everything happens at CES. There's nothing in your ear irritating your ear over a long period of time, uh, nothing that can't fall off, sweat proof, water resistant. Um, you don't have the, uh, you can listen to music for a long period of time and not do the same amount of damage to your eardrum as you would with a traditional headphone. We have a wireless Bluetooth version. You can make it to any phone calls on. It has a microphone right there, allows you to speak. Uh, it's originally military grade technology designed for special forces units around the world. It's a prototype of the last two years. And it's a phone Everything old is new again. This is called a body slimmer, and this is something I think I remember seeing about in the 1950s. Probably is fun. Lots of music is at CES, and here is a booth called the Hercules Thrustmaster. Big sound systems. This display was very intriguing, made me stop.
Vivitec. Nobody but models would be wearing these shoes. You can hear the sound if you put on the earphones. This is Greffel, apparently an English company, and they have modern designs for how you hold your iPad, kind of like spiders. I like the company's name, but Sound Freak won an award here for best of show, best overall product, best overall accessory. That was last year at CES. So there are awards for the products that are displayed here. There are some 20,000 new products here this year. of broadcasters are here, obviously. Intel is here, as they always are. At least they have been as long as I've been coming. And they have a very large, centrally located exhibit area. And a very big screen. Sponsors of tomorrow, it says. There's our photos and videos. Choose next, and then choose a the type of style that you like, and hit next again, and there's my product. So that's kind of cool. You got a tablet on the go. I took the photos and videos with the tablet, but you don't have to. You can take your camera and plug it into the USB if you prefer. But there's my product, and now I'm ready to share it. Do I have to wait till I go home to share it? No. Just hit the button once more, share on Facebook and YouTube. Now that's pretty interesting, but are these tablets just for play? Not anymore, right? I go to my start menu, I pull up the office suite, and now I'm ready to do PowerPoint presentations, send that Excel spreadsheet. I'm in the Bahamas, I'm taking photos, I say, oh, I gotta get that PowerPoint out. There it is, right? I'm working on it, I'm editing. See how it works? Now let's say I'm on the beach, I finished my PowerPoint, I say, you know what, I wanna go back to watching movies. Now I got a split screen here, I can watch it at the same time. Isn't that cool? And then what you really wanna do is you want to really watch the movie, but you leave the PowerPoint on the screen so you can convince yourself that you're working. Oh, I'm sorry. Right? But you're really not working. But that's how it works. So really, the power's in your hands. There are the most beautiful videos being shown, and they're crystal clear. This is in the Hisense booth. Absolutely beautiful. 
guy man behind me just said, look at that quality there. Dish Network is here in the form of huge, what we would call stuffed animals, but I'm sure they are filled with air. And this is uh, a very crowded area, so everybody will pass by the dish name. Ford has a number of autos on display. I'm not sure if you registered to win every one of them or just one of them or, or what, but Ford seems to make its presence known at many Las Vegas conventions. This is Joy Manufacturing, rugged and waterproof um, coverings for phones, iPads, etc. They are asking people to shoot at the devices. I think if they hit it, they may, I don't know what they get, maybe they're in a drawing. Although there are buses that will take people from CES to the various Las Vegas hotels, this is the cab line. ought to be doing very well this week. Well, my two and a half hours is almost up and I'm on the way to my pickup spot passing by Big Daddy's Barbecue, which looks pretty uh, inviting. At any rate, I think you need all five days of this show to see everything. I barely saw what was in one building and made a couple stops in another building. This is a fascinating show. Be sure and read everybody's reports of the show, see all their pictures, and maybe you'll get an idea of everything that was at CES 2013.